bathrooms we are doing cleaning and decluttering applying the KonMari method or technique to all areas that need to be organized and decluttered just giving you all a nice overview of the space may not look dirty to the naked eye but I promise you it needs an overhaul this space is predominantly used by the hubby as well as any guests that enter the space so here is we're going to do a nice scrub down on the toilet and the tub and all of that good stuff. And I wanted you just to see how it is looking beforehand. And then we'll go get into the cleaning of it all. We will be decluttering and adding some organization things there. I picked up some things from the Dollar Tree right there to add some organization. So we're going to get this space nice and whipped into shape so let's get cracking you all know how i like to start my cleaning i remove everything from the space so that i can give the entire surface a nice clean wipe down once everything is removed i come in with my trusty Clorox cleanup and I began to saturate each space, tub, toilet, and sink area with my cleaner. Running my hot water as I start the process of cleaning. Now some have addressed your concerns in previous videos. I will let you know that I definitely have my vent going as I'm cleaning but the glove thing will never change I just like to get in and start my cleaning without the obstruction of the gloves here I am again just moving everything spraying the entire surface and begin my wipe down Here you guys, I am using my simple technique of warm wet towel to clean the mirrors and then I follow up with a dry terry cloth towel to dry the mirrors. This technique has worked for me for many years so I do not use a product for this particular technique, just warm water and terry cloth towels. As you can see here, every surface in the space gets an extreme wipe down. Now moving on to the tub, I use the Scotch Bride hand scrubber to clean my tub surround. It is very efficient in removing all dirt, soap, scum, and debris from the tub without scratching the surface of the surround. What I love about this tool is that it also has a little insert on the handle that allows you to add product into the handle if you so choose to. I love the convenience of that. So from time to time I will do that, but here I'm using my brush and warm water to clean the surface. It is getting the job done.
moving on to the toilet i have to add my pine saw i love the smell of it and just the way that it combines with clorox and ensures that my areas are clean just letting the brush drain as i finish cleaning the rest of the surface you saw me earlier spray this particular area with the clorox cleaner and now i'm coming in with my clorox disinfectant wipes and i'm wiping down the entire surface of the toilet just ensuring that everything is clean and germ free now i'm curious how often do you guys do a detail cleaning in your bathrooms to me your bathrooms and your kitchens need cleaning well, I would say extreme cleaning more than any other space or surface in your home because hands are touching it. You know, you're doing certain things in the bathroom. So I just love to ensure that this space is clean at all times. And here it is all nice and squeaky clean. I love a nice clean bathroom smelling fresh and looking pretty. I want it to be functional as well as visually pleasing. So here it is. Okay, guys. I want you to leave in the comments section below. Let me know two things. How often do you all do this type of cleaning to your bathrooms? And the second thing is let me know if you're enjoying this type of content. I wanna bring you all content that you are being inspired by and hopefully it is inspiring you to clean your spaces. I want it to motivate you to create beautiful comfortable areas in your home that you enjoy coming home to to me there's nothing worse than coming home to a cluttered space and the anxiety that you feel when it's not looking or feeling like you desire it to look and feel so i thought it would be great to bring you these type of videos to help you get motivated and encouraged and even give you some design inspiration as you do your cleaning and decluttering so let me know in the comment box what you think if you want to see more and i will be glad to bring it to you If you're wondering where I purchased most of the decor items in this space, I have a video doing a bathroom refresh. And in that video, I give a breakdown of all the items and where I purchased them. So I will try to link that video in the description box down below. Also, I did show you all some organization boxes that I purchased. So I will insert a quick clip of the organization that I did under the sink. But in this space, I mainly wanted to focus on the cleaning and in the other space, which you are about to see, it focuses more on the actual KonMari technique. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, this is the area we will be attacking today. This is my under cabinet storage. And as you can see, it is a hodgepodge of everything. I have made attempts to do some storage solution with the little wire stackable racks, but it is not adequate enough for my items so what I will do is revamp the space and get it spruced up for spring so without any further ado okay guys now in this particular area is where I implement the KonMari method and I love this method because it's a six-step process to where you whatever area you are going to attack and declutter and organize you want to pull everything out of that space so that it is visual before you and you want to begin to sort and organize before you do that she says to first commit to the area determine where you're going to do it and stick to it once you've committed to the space you're going to tackle first she says to envision how you want this space to look or feel or how you want it to function for you then you begin pulling everything out cleaning decluttering and all of that good stuff and then you go into your actual organizing one of the key things that this technique is most popular for is that she poses you to ask yourself a particular question and that question is does the items or items you're decluttering spark joy 
In other words, how do they make you feel? And she encourages you to get rid of anything that holds negative energy or negative memories for you. So here, I've cleaned the space out. I'm lining it up now with some liners that I picked up at the Dollar Tree because I want to get this space as organized and as visually pleasing as possible. Another tip that she gives is that you store your items to where you can visually see them, meaning using clear containers or some type of container that allows you to see the items that you have so that you don't overspend or overclutter your space with items that you don't necessarily need. So for that reason alone, I love this minimal minimalistic approach to organizing and decluttering. So here I am just playing around with the configuration of everything, trying to get it all sorted as neatly and um, functional as possible. I love how she encourages you to store items that you least use farthest away from you and items that you use on a regular basis, make them convenient for you to access, which in a sense is common sense, but you'd be surprised a lot of people don't store or organize in that way. So it just makes sense to have items that you use daily closest to you. So I love just the breakdown of steps that she gives in this particular method. So here again, I'm still playing around with the order and getting everything as nice and neat for me. Now, let me add this. Each space is different. Your home is just that. It's your home and you know how you need it to function for you. So you can implement these methods, these six steps, but make sure that it is functional for you and how you and your family live in your space. In my case, I predominantly use this space. So all of this area is dedicated to things that I use and I need. If I had other family members that shared this space with me, I would obviously incorporate items that we all use in this space. So think about how the item or the space needs to function for you and your family. As you can see, I'm playing around with different orders and configurations of how I want this space to function. And then I will get it all finally figured out. And so here you guys is my finished result. I love the technique. I love the method. It made organizing so simple and so easy for me. And as neat as I claim to be, I found some great tools to implement in my organization process. So I will bring you guys other projects just like this I would do kitchen organization as well as closet organization using the KonMari technique so as you can see everything here is nice and stored properly I have items that I readily use my makeup my facial cleansers easy for me to access items that I don't use as often are stored in the back and the bigger items are sorted together so this technique worked for me However, I did clean. So let me show you guys the space all cleaned up. I was so fixated on the actual organization that I didn't get any footage of me cleaning this space, but I used the same technique that I did in my hall bathroom that is predominantly used by my love. So here you guys are just a few clips of the space all nice and clean and it is spring ready. I even had the energy. I felt so good about the organization. I had the energy to go ahead and spruce up the space a little bit, adding a few pictures that I picked up for spring so I changed those out and just giving you all a nice overview of everything now if you have not please hit that subscribe button join the TMB family I have so much more content to bring you guys share this video give me a thumbs up let me know that you like it and you want to see more so until the next video you guys I want you guys to today and every day have a blessed and beautiful beautiful day